Hey guys, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest, uh, May 19th, miserable May 19th, uh, Saturday here, uh, terrible this morning, cold and rainy, we were anticipating a better day maybe to do some um, garage sales, but I didn't do that, headed out to a thrift store, uh, I got one thing, I don't know yet, I'll show it to you later, I don't know if it's going to be worth anything, other than that it was pretty picked over, anyways, as I promised in my last video, I was going to go over March and April sales, as I forgot to post March, and again, I apologize. Um, again, I want to thank everybody for the comments flowing in, getting more and more, um, and I'll answer them the best I can. Uh, again, this is a YouTube channel for Canadian pickers, and welcome American pickers as well. Uh, this is basically helping uh, Canadian sellers in, on eBay Canada. Anyways, I'm gonna just push the camera on pause in a second, and then we're going to get the screen ready here and we're going to go over some of the items. All right, right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I'm going to take you through, I don't know how many I have here too. I don't know, about 15 items, I think, or more. I don't know. But let's start here. Um, I don't know if any of you remember my last video, um, last videos on these. I think I picked up about five of these uh, items. These were um, brand new Blu-ray uh, box set of the uh, 2010 Vancouver Games. I sold every single one of them for $49.99 and I paid $49.99 each and I paid three bucks for them. This was a huge score for me. So always browse the DVD section. You may find a gem here or there and I did it that day. Here is the second part of the Brother knitting uh, machine set that I found. This was the second one. Again, I paid 10 bucks for it. I thought I want to I'll remind you with the story. This thing was buried at Value Village. There was two boxes um, in the furniture section, um, and both of them were in a basic cardboard box. I pulled them out. Um, this is the uh, ribbing attachment um, uh, for the KH230. This is the KR230. Like I said, I paid both 10 bucks. I can't remember what I paid for the first one. Uh, sorry, what I sold the first one for, but I sold this one for 310. Well, this was a good score. Here's something to be on the lookout for. And um, I was out with a buddy of mine and we were out picking and uh, came across this. Uh, don't ever be afraid to buy these guys. I think I paid $5 or $9 for it. This is an Oris Switch Swiss watch store display. And what it was, the base there, you see it, it was a solar panel. And what it did, um, that red part there would rock back and forth um, in the display case uh, attracting you to the watch section in in the store um, the thing didn't work actually there for some reason I don't know if the motor was burned out or what but I sold it to I guess a guy that was a watch collector and he paid $49.99 so never ever turn your eye away for something like that that's different here's something that I got for a dollar um, I think it was $1.99 at Value Village. This is the Puma Red Bull Racing Formula shirt. Uh, excellent condition. Uh, graphics all over it. Um, let's see if, you can see if I got a picture of the back here. Uh, see, there you go. Beautiful graphics on it. Uh, look at this. I sold it for $49.99. Really good margin on these unique racing shirts. Here's a funny story. I was uh, talking to another picker um, at, at this uh, Value Village. I think it was the one at Winston Churchill. And he was he's one of these guys who are doing FBA. And I'm not knocking FBA guys. You do it. You make money. God bless you. But this guy here, he was doing CDs. Um, and he was standing there scanning each one. And um, he told me he made 50 cents a buck. And he was working on volume. And at the bottom, this was sitting... At the bottom of the shelf, this was sitting there. If you ever see this, guys, pick them up. Caesar Milan's uh, Mastering Leadership Series, Training Your Puppy Dog. I think it's five discs. This one was pretty much like new. Uh, three of the discs were open, uh, or three of them were sealed, I think. And the rest were open. Uh, I picked it up for $7, and I sold it pretty much instantly for $80. It's a good score. 
Here's something I featured. I got it for $25. Didn't know if I was, it had it in my hand and this was at the ReStore in our local town here in Milton. This was a brand new Midland Power Max. Um, this is like a CB for a boat, a fog alert, vintage, vintage. I can't remember the year on this thing. Uh, it was never used. Uh, I sold it to a guy, I think in California. Uh, he had a vintage boat and he was looking for it. He paid $100 for it. Good score. Here's, guys, you never, ever turn your back on the stupidest thing you'll ever find. Look at this thing. This is Bob Ross's The Joy of Painting. I paid $5 for this thing. Um, I, I, I looked at it. It was sitting on, in the area of Value Village is where, where they keep the, the, the more expensive items where you have to ask to look at them. I picked it up. I sold it right away for $69.99. Never, ever turn your back on weird items like that. Here's the second one I sold, Clarity C4220 Plus. There's good money in these guys. These are um, extra loud cordless speaker phones for the hearing impaired. Uh, they light up. Uh, they're more for the elderly. Um, I think these sell around brand new, close to $200. Uh, I think I saw it at Staples. Um, I got this for $1.99 um, and it was an excellent condition. Uh, I paid 49 uh, sorry somebody bought it for 49.99 here's something else again out of the ordering I keep telling you guys when you're out picking look for stuff that's different okay I bought this for seven dollars okay complete and this is a Fanac ICOM and TV link bundle hearing aid Bluetooth wa phone wireless and what you do is this plugs into your TV and wire, uh, wirelessly, or sorry, Bluetooth the transmission to your hearing aid. Pretty cool thing. Um, and um, it was pre-owned. We tested it. It worked great. I paid, I got $80 for it instantly. This thing brand new at this model, there's another model that came out after this one, uh, sold for about $150 brand new in the box. So I got good money for it being pre-owned. Here we go, my favorite new thing that I'm buying, guys. Typewriters, and I've told you before, don't be afraid of them, but make sure you check on your phone, the ones that sell. This one here, excellent condition, brother, GX, 6750 Daisy Wheel. Sold it for $129.99. I think I got this for $9 and had the manual. This was a great score. Um, it almost sold instantly. This was, uh, I, I keep looking for these brother units, especially the Daisy Wheel. Keep your eye out uh, looking for them. Here's another one. Usually these things are at the bottom, an electronic section, at the thrift stores, in a box, buried. You got to bend over and dig. And this is what I found. Five dollars, Kenmore, electronic air cleaner. D42 32700. This is a $200 unit brand new. It was in excellent condition. This has a uh, lifetime filter in it. Came with the manual, the original box. Sold to a gentleman in Alberta for $100. Again, you got to dig for these things. Another good score. I paid $10 for this all the time take a look for these sony vintage boom boxes this is the cf 570 it had some wear to it it wasn't perfect guys the sound was okay um again uh it didn't even have a power cord it, it took 8d batteries which i have i tested it the cassette player worked uh, had a little bit of paint on on the side but again i sold it for 80 dollars to a collector these sell all day long if you get the right ones and you probably pass through these all the time in the active long sleeve section of your vintage store, of your thrift store. This is a 1990s or late 80s uh, Buffalo Sabres, Pat LaFontaine, Buffalo Sabres CCM NHL jersey, size large. Most likely this was one of the jerseys that you bought in the arena in Buffalo. Uh, back then there wasn't online stores. Uh, it was really hard to obtain. Um, authentic or semi-authentic jerseys that the players wore this was a great great find i paid two dollars for it this sold i think in 10 minutes once i listed it for 80 dollars guy in um, new york new york state bought it somewhere 
nice find. Here's the other one. Another brother, guys. I think I paid 14 bucks for it. This is a little bit older. It had a word processor built into it. Um, sold it for $80. $80. This is my new, new hunting item I'm looking for all the time. They have to be work. They have to be in good condition. Uh, the actual, the, the ribbon worked here. The ribbon worked very well on it. This one had a slot right there for a floppy disk if you see it. And the floppy disk was in there. Here we go, another one, Smith Corona, SL460, okay, this one here, $119.99, and last, remember the video I showed you, I can't remember what this was beside, I think it was the Jerry Lewis High Stakes Vegas toy, or game board. Uh, still have that. I have an $80 price tag on it, and I've got a couple of watchers. Here is the Connect set I told you about. I think I got it for, I can't remember. You're going to have to watch the video. Nine bucks, eight bucks, five bucks. Sold it for 80 right away. There it is. Great margin. So there you have it, guys. That is March and April um, featuring some of the products that uh, I sold. Let me just turn the camera around here. Give me a second. Hey guys, we're back. Listen, um, so there you go. That's some of the stuff I sold in um, March and April. Gives you a good idea of uh, some of the different things that I'm picking. I'm just trying to show you guys to get out of your comfort zone. I took a chance on these items. I didn't know what I was going to get for them, but the margins were fantastic. And, you know, I'm looking for more and more really things that stick out of place in these stores and 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 seeing what they sell for and it's paying off for me and i hope it will pay off for you i've got something to show you in another video it's a paintball uh, blow up wall I, I don't know what you call it um barrier a bunker um got it for nine bucks close sells for almost three hundred dollars so i'll show you that um how, where i found that but that gives you an idea of what i'm looking for um, again, I'm still stuck. Vintage electronics, love them, guys. Cameras, love them. Things like that, I love them. Uh, and, you know, and we just keep going and going. Um, sales. I know a couple of you asked me about sales. Uh, right now, let me tell you, over prior year in 2018, our sales number over prior year up to March 19th is 12,000, uh, sorry, 194% up. Okay, over prior year. Number of transactions, 149% up. And this is the great part. Average selling price is up 18%, close to $79 Canadian. Okay, that is amazing. I'm getting my average selling price up and I'm making more money. So um, again, it's good to, it's great to look at your numbers all the time compare them all the time to make sure you're on track to see what your goals are anyways guys please again i want you to uh if you like the video give me a big thumbs up please subscribe share with your friends and on the little right side of my youtube channel is a little bell if you check that off you will get automatically notified on my next video i will try to do more now that summer's here and a little more active in picking and garage sales and everything else but uh, again, this is Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Actually, it's a long weekend here in Canada. Um, and I um, hope to hit some more sales tomorrow and Monday. But again, enjoy your weekend. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.